was me! Today on Doc Owen Action Figure Times, we're going to take a look at the Marvel Universe Scarlet Spider. Today we're going to start something that I haven't done before, at least not that I remember, and we're going to do start doing some reviews on some of the Marvel Universe figures. Now, um, I don't know a whole lot about this line, just to be honest. Like this, we're, today we're going to be looking at Ben Riley's figure, the Scarlet Spider. Um, it's number 14. And I really thought there was a whole lot more than that out, but I guess I could be wrong. Maybe that's just for this year. I'm not, I'm not really sure. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm only going to be able to review two figures of this wave. Uh, the other is going to be the Scar, Son of Hulk, the, and, but I'm, uh, and the reason is is because I couldn't find the others. I don't normally collect Marvel. As you can see, everything behind me pretty much is DC, with the exception I've got a Human Torch because I really like the Human Torch. But uh, let's go ahead and look at some of these figures and see what we think. Now, um, looking at the packaging here, for me, looking at them really, uh, that looks like Bill Sienkiewicz's um, artwork there. That's kind of neat. Uh, it's, uh, he's got him upside down. Somebody told me that sometimes he's right side up. This says right here that he's figure 14. There's a brief bio here, but it really doesn't tell his name. Uh, it just says the Scarlet Spider. And you know, actually, I think Felicia Hardy, the black cat, she dressed up like the Scarlet Spider one time. But this is actually Ben Riley, because it does talk about him being the clone. Now, Ben, uh, the re way he got his name was Ben, was from Uncle Ben, and Riley was the uh, maiden name of Aunt May. So. <clears throat> but here we go. We got Steve Rogers on the back. You can see the other figures in the line. Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom. It must be a doctor's wave. They got two doctors and a doctor's son in, um, uh, in Scar, Son of Hulk. And then, of course, you've got uh, Ben Riley, who is a clone of Peter Parker, who if he doesn't have his doctorate yet, he should. Now, let's go ahead and open them up. Now, everybody's been bragging about these and, and things. Uh, so I'm curious as to get a good look at them. Now, pretty decent artwork, comes out okay. He's got a stand with him that says he is number 14. I don't know why you'd want to number them, but I guess maybe, I guess that's cool. It's got, it says Marvel across the top, and then that actually says Spider-Man. What's the deal? Anyway, that would make things confusing. So we'll go ahead and pop Ben out. He's actually... You know, some guys on the board were, were teasing me about, you know, these things and stuff, and about how, you know, how I put them through their paces and stuff. This one didn't make it out of the package. Huh. Oh, but it goes on fairly easy. Now, <laughs> okay. Now, this is kind of a curious outfit. You know, he's all red and stuff. I've always wondered why exactly why Benny, and he wore it like, kind of like the uh, old rapper's, you know, uh, 80s vest. But anyway, he's got the sp spider there. He's got his web. He carries his web shooters on the outside. I think that's kind of a dangerous thing um, because somebody could just grab him and cr cr uh, crush him. He's got some pouches down there. I guess to put some extra web fluid and stuff like that. His belt does, his belt moves around his waist, got kind of neat thing there. He's got a, basically a Spider-Man mask on right there. It's also a hoodie, you know, a hoodie. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, he doesn't shoot webs or anything like that. He does have lots of articulation. You know, these aren't really that bad. He's actually, this is actually very, very cool. I mean, compared to that schlock that uh, Mattel put out, this is actually very, very nice. Um, you know, but that's kind of like uh, comparing, you know, the girl you're dating to a girl who, who's lost her ears, her eyes, and all of her hair. I mean, is she good looking? Well, yes, but anyway, um, I've got Batman here. And when I say lost them, I mean they've been cut off, not like they're blind and she can't hear. You can kind of see here that they're bigger than the Mattel ones. I actually, these are kind of neat. I mean, uh, his gear moves around a little bit, doesn't on his thing, got plenty. Uh, don't know what to tell you. 
I tell you what, we'll, let's go ahead and look at him up close. So here we are looking at Mr. Riley up close. Oh, by the way, um, I was, I know at uh, the beginning of the thing I said I was only going to be able to redo, review two figures. Since uh, I actually shot this review in two parts, I'm actually going to be, I think I found all the figures in the wave with the help of some uh, very kind people that work with me. And so I, I believe I'm going to be able to show you the whole thing. But let's go ahead and look at Ben. Ben's got his hoodie on. You've got the detail of the strings coming down right there. Got the little hoodie back there. He's got his uh, pouch with all of his web <clears throat> his uh, web packs for his web shooters. He's got plenty of articulation at least in there. I wish that I at least this hand would have had the two fingers back to make it look like he was shooting his web shooter. I think that would have been a good thing. He d His leg does it does pivot there. You've got the knee um, and his there's his ankles and things. So really he's pretty good. Now, being Spider-Man, he ought to be able to do a Jean... Oh, he's got some added articulation there. He ought to be able to Jean-Claude Van Damme it and stick his legs out to the side, but unfortunately he can't. Now, one other thing that's odd that he should should have been different was is this. This nameplate that says Spider-Man. I want one that says Scarlet Spider. If I'm going to buy these things, I want them to be right. But all in all, this is actually a pretty good looking figure. Not a bad sculpt at all. I think it's a good representation. Make sure you look for the rest of the ones in the series. Next one up will be Scar, the son of Hulk. And I know you're going to enjoy that big behemoth. So we'll see you next. This is Doc Owen with Action Figure Times reminding you to be extraordinary. Tell all your friends about us. We're really looking to build. Let everybody know that you uh, appreciate what we're doing at the site. And we'll see you soon.